Hello, my name is Nick. I'm going to teach you how to use the chroma key feature on the Movavi video editor. So first you need to open the program. In this program it's easiest to use the chroma key feature in timeline mode. This is storyboard mode, so to move to timeline mode you need to go to the middle right of the screen and flick the timeline mode. Now you're in timeline mode, so you can add multiple tracks and add your media files. To import your media files, make sure you are on the import tab. Go to add media files. You need to click a document with a solid background, like your green screen or your blue screen or your pink screen. Find your video file. Now you've imported your video file. All you have to do is drag it to the media track of the storyboard. Alright, now, as you can see, my green screen is a little wrinkly, but that works for this tutorial. Now, you need to right-click on the timeline and click Insert Track. You want to add another video track. Alright, now you've added another video track. Now you want to move that video track under the track that has the video in it. So, just click the track, select it, and move it to below that track. Now you need to import another file with just a picture in it that you want for the background. So you just go here. I have a White House hallway. Insert. Now you've imported your background, you just need to drag it to the second media track. And when you get it there, you need to drag the handle all the way to the end of your video to ensure that it will be there for the duration of the video. Now you click your regular video and go to Effects. And here you need to go to Chroma Key in the list, and depending on what your screen color is, you need to put either blue, green, or pink. Mine is green. As you can see, this is a little bit messed up, so you need to drag the effect to your video. Now your video has the chroma key green applied, and you need to look at the settings, you can mess with this slider to see, like, how green you want the background or not. But keep in mind, when you move the slider up or down, that'll make your regular image right here more transparent. And you don't want that. I'd say a good slide for right here would be about green 170. Now you have your settings and you're good to go.